Hello friends, my name is Paresh and in this video we are going to discuss about solution and publisher concept. So keep watching and stay tuned. Okay, so what are solutions? Well, if you want to transport your applications and components from one environment to let's say another or to apply a set of customizations to your existing applications, in that case, you use solutions. So your solution can contain one or more applications as well as other components such as uh, sitemaps, tables, processes, web resources, choices, flows, and much more. So you can consider solutions as a mechanism for implementing application lifecycle management in uh, Power Apps uh, or other Power Platform products such as Power Automate or if you're working in Dynamics 365. Now when you go into make.powerapps.com you will find that the system already provides you with uh, two default unmanaged solutions. One is called uh, the Common Data Service Default Solution and the another one is called uh, the default solution as you can see highlighted in this particular screenshot. Now, the common data service default solution, this particular solution is available for uh, the makers to use by default for their customizations in an environment. Uh, so the common data service default solution is actually used when you want to evaluate or learn Power Apps. The other type of solution is called default solution. Now this is a special solution that contains all components in the system and the default solution is uh, useful for uh, discovering all the components and configurations in your system. So just as a quick tip, uh, well technically you can uh, modify or work with the default solution but it is not recommended. So whenever you're working on a new project or a new let's say uh, you're developing a new module it's better that you create your own custom solution and start adding the components from default solution to your particular solution in that way it's easy to manage and easy to transfer uh, you know your changes from one environment to another environment a solution can be either unmanaged or managed solution now how does unmanaged and managed solution work this is something that we can discuss in upcoming videos but for now what you need to understand is that unmanaged solutions are used in your development environment while you are making changes to your application and from your development environment you can uh, export the unmanaged solution either as an unmanaged or managed solution and it is recommended that when you export the unmanaged versions of your solution you should check them in into your source control uh, system so that you can have the version controlling and you can have a track of what all changes you did during the course of the development on the other hand managed solutions are deployed any environment that isn't a development environment for that particular solution so it can be a test environment a uat environment an sit environment or a production environment so there are more uh, things to it but basically what you need to understand is that you cannot easily edit the managed solution uh, if it's in a higher environment for example your production environment so it also safeguards from any unnecessary edits right so you have to follow the best practice of coming back to the development environment making the changes or the updates and then exporting that as a managed uh, solution all right so let's just quickly see how we can work with solutions in Dynamics 365 so now as you can see I'm in my Dynamics 365 environment I can click on a new tab and go to make.powerapps.com. Okay, so the first thing that I need to check is if I'm in the right environment. So 365 Pros over here is the environment that I'm working on. And over here on the left hand side in the navigation pane, I can click on solutions and it will show all the solutions that are available in my environment. Now, in order to locate and work with uh, just the components that you have customized, you can create a new solution by clicking on new solutions over here and do all your customizations there, all right? Then you can easily distribute your solutions to other environments. You can use import functionality to import a solution into your environment. And then there is this open app source, uh, which is the Microsoft app source. So if you click over here, uh, this is where you can go and get solutions which are tailored to your industry that work with the products you already use. So there are many ISVs who um, 
publish their solutions over here so you can try them uh, or you can buy them or you can connect with the with the owners to get some more information there is another button called publish all customizations and now this is something you will be using frequently while you're making customizations to your environment all what it does it it publishes all your active customizations in your environment and then there is one more option to switch to classic so people who have been working in older versions of dynamics 365 and are used to the classic environment they can uh, use this as well so if you click on this it will take you to the solutions page in the classic environment and here is where you can uh, start creating your solutions as well so you can uh, both so you can work both in classic or in the new environment well power apps is the way to go ahead so i would recommend that you use uh, make.powerapps.com uh, going forward Okay, so in this list, you will see a list of solutions that are available within the system. And if you uh, filter by managed or non-managed, so let me say, show me all the solutions which are not managed or which are unmanaged. So here you can see that these are the two default solutions, common data service default solution and default solutions that we discussed. Uh, apart from that, this is a custom solution that I have created. So we'll go through that process of creating a custom solution as well. And if you want to filter it by managed solutions, you can see that there are a lot of managed solutions available over here, like IoT, field service, um, and all sorts of things. All right, so basically what it's showing is that it's the display name, the name that is displayed to the user, um, uh, or you can call it a label. Uh, and then there's a name, which is the system name or the schema name, uh, you can call it. It can show you um, the dates, you can sort on it as well, on when it was created. And then it shows the version, best practice to uh, do uh, versioning is major minor build revision so for example if i take this field service you will see that 8 is the major version dot 8 is then the minor version and then 76 is the build version and then 55 is the revision of this particular solution so that's uh, the way microsoft recommends to uh, version your solution and of course then it tells you if the solution is managed or not managed who is the publisher so every solution needs a publisher as well and then the system shows you a solution check whether it has been run by a publisher or not i will see that as soon as i select a solution uh, the options on the ribbon uh, also changes right so you can edit the solution you can delete you can export the solution as managed or unmanaged then there's a solution checker uh, that you can run on this particular solution to see if there are any errors or not you can also uh, show dependencies uh, like there must be other solutions or the components with the solution which might be dependent on uh, some other solutions uh, you can see the history you can clone the solution as well uh, close in as a patch or clone as a solution you can apply upgrades translations and then there are various settings all right now to discuss all of these we will cover that in upcoming videos but for now uh, you just get an idea of these are the things or operations that you can carry out from this particular page now a solution requires a publisher and a publisher is nothing but a profile of the company owning the solution so a publisher provides common customization prefixes and option values and some more additional information all right so let's just start with creating a publisher and then we'll create a solution all right, so here I am in make.powerapps.com and over here you can see that uh, there is a publishers tab. So let's just go ahead and click on publishers. So let's just go ahead and click on new publisher to create our publisher. And in the display name, I will use the publisher name as Tech Quantum. And let me just put the schema name as Tech quantum without any spaces all right and if you want you can provide additionally a description uh, over here you need to provide your prefixes so for example if you create any component like let's say an a table or a column then uh, the schema name of those tables and columns and any other component that you create will be prefixed by the things that you uh, provide over here so for example it is tech quantum so i would like to say okay the prefix starts with tq and then it gives you a preview of how it will look like now additionally you can provide choice value prefixes so choices are nothing but option sets the older name was called option sets and now it is called as choice in dataverse if i want i can change it and i want that every uh, choice option that I create values that I create it should start with one two six nine zero and then I can proceed with one two you know one two six nine one one two six nine two and so on and so forth so you can change that or you can keep it uh, what the system provides you and I will click on save 
So over here, you can see that our publisher is now ready. Now, if you want, you can always, you know, go into and edit it again. So for example, I, I go over here and I say, oh, let me just provide a description. So I can provide that this is the default publisher for Tech Quantum. All right. So any any solution that I create, um, I can attach this particular uh, publisher to uh, that solution. All right. So let me click on save again. And then once our publisher is ready, we can go and, and start and create a new solution. So for example, I want to create a functionality around uh, expense management. So let me click on new solution and then provide a display name expense solution and the system will automatically generate the schema name over here. So I will not change it. And here I can choose the publisher, all right? So if I start typing, it will show me um, the uh, publisher that I have. Or I can go over here and you know select this uh, publisher like this. Now, as I said, each solution has a version uh, that is major, minor, build and revision so for default since it's the first uh, version i will say 1.0.0.0 all right now there are some more options if you have a configuration page you can configure it over here additionally you can provide a description so i can say all right solution for expense management and over here you can see it's asking uh, what is the package type is it unmanaged or it is managed well this is a development environment and I will be developing this solution. So that's why it will be unmanaged, right? If I export this solution to any other environment, then I can also export that as a managed solution, all right? So let me just click on create over here. Okay, so our solution has been created and what you see over here is the work area for the solution that we created uh, just now, okay? So now you can start adding components to the solution, which then you can manage easily. You can either add existing components uh, like application, automation chatbot dashboard uh, you know your reports rules and your uh, tables that are available in the system and there are more uh, such options that are available you can create a new um, components uh, if you are creating a new custom let's say at custom table and then you're defining custom columns uh, within that so just for an example I will try to add existing table so I will go over here and then search for let's say We'll select account table, okay? And then go next. Now the system will ask you if you want to include all objects within the account table. Now, if you select this, then all the components that are available in the accounts table that are existing will be added to your solution. But the recommendation is that you only add those um, which you want to use or modify, all right? So for example, I can use a couple of um, uh, columns over here. You can also choose relationships. You can also choose business rules or views that you want to select or forms you want to select, all right? So for example, I can just select over here. Okay, I just want to uh, make changes to uh, the main form over here, all right? And I click on add and as I add it, those components will be brought in from the default solution and be added to my solution. Now you can see that instead of adding everything here, I just added the account table and only those uh, components within the account table that I want to modify or work with. You will see that only those columns are selected that I selected instead of selecting all those uh, uh, number of columns. And similarly uh, over here, you will see that uh, it would have selected only one form, main form that I had selected. Yeah, so this is how you can manage your solution and uh, when you define a customer engagement solution, you actually then create a group of solution components that can be managed together. So that's what we are trying to do over here. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself and we'll meet in next video. Bye for now.